girl math, a trend that's been all over the internet. What is supposed to be relatable funny jokes about spending habits now has been getting out of hand. Here's a list of things that I firmly believe because of girl math. Anything under $5 is free. If I buy something, but then I return it, I've made money. Income that came in was 1600 Rent is 12 Girl math. That's your... I can definitely appreciate the humor, and I'm not here to judge anyone's financial decisions. But as a girl who actually has a math degree, seeing the term girl math everywhere, I'm horrified. In 2016, I was 17 years old. My school required us to choose between two tracks, liberal arts or natural science. I was advised by my teachers, my parents, and basically everyone else to choose the liberal arts track because it was kind of for students who are bad at math. I was more than happy with the choice at the time because I hated math and physics and biology. The natural science track had about 50-50 gender ratio, maybe slightly more boys, but the liberal arts track had 90% girls. And because there were only three liberal arts classes out of like 20 classes in my grade, we were often referred to as the hot girls in the liberal arts classes. Back then, the little 16-year-old Han didn't have any problems with all of that. But now looking back, I definitely feel like that was really sus. Even though I really didn't like math at the beginning, I still had to study math entire high school for the college entrance exam. After a lot of hours studying math, I eventually kind of liked it. Long story short, I came to the US and majored in math and engineering as my college major. One time for a class that we have to do group projects, I asked a classmate to see if they need more people. And instead of just saying no, he told me that they already took a girl and suggested that I try another group who doesn't have a girl yet. And just by talking to my female friends in math, we found that as part of the small number of women in the math major, everybody had experienced some different level of harassment from our fellow math majors. So I would say I'm a little bit disturbed by the girl math trend. Are girls actually worse at math than boys? And if not, why are there actually very few women in mathematics? And how can a girl actually succeed in a math class or in the field of mathematics? Studies on babies, preschoolers and early elementary school kids show almost zero difference in basic number skills, like counting, comparing quantities, and doing simple arithmetic. Boys and girls start off basically equal. And research shows that men and women have the same average IQ. The difference isn't in the middle, it's in the spread. You can see on the graph, men's IQ scores are often more variable, means that there are just more men at the top or at the bottom. But on average, it's the same. And in fact, if we look at the majority of the population, women has a higher IQ. IQ than men. And in fact, the studies found that in self-estimated intelligence, like how smart people think they are, there is a gender difference. Men often rate themselves higher than women. So if ability isn't the problem, why do we see less women in mathematics or math-related fields like engineering, physics, or computer science? You might think the obvious answer is probably stereotypes or just sexism in general, but it's actually a bit more complicated than that. Looking at internet national test the data, there is something called the gender equality paradox. Which I found very interesting is in countries that are more gender equal, the math gap between boys and girls are actually become more visible, which are the opposite of what I thought. And that's because when girls have more freedom to choose, many pick feels that they are equally strong, like reading and writing, so they lean towards the humanities. In other words, it's often a choice, not abilities. From middle school onward, girls often gravitate toward English, psychology, or biology while boys are more likely to take physics, computer science, or advanced math. For example, in England, for the past 20 years, about two-thirds of A-level math students were boys, and for physics, only a quarter of physics students were girls. And you can see the same patterns for other countries like France and Italy. And it kind of makes sense because for decades, fields like math and computer science are really tied to the stereotype of being geeky, being nerdy. And for TV shows like The Big Bang Theory, where the math guys are all Always very quirky and very out of touch. And historically, ads for personal computers in the 1980s marketed them directly to boys, connecting the idea that coding and computing were a male hobby. And because parents don't normally buy computers for their girls, they're not familiar with computer growing up, so they don't feel like that's their thing. So the identity of being good at math or really like computers, it's never an identity that
that belongs to girls. I know boys don't always love the stereotype either because most of the people that I know work in tech or、um, studying advanced math. They are just normal people. They don't really fall into the stereotype. For girls, often when they have the choice, they don't tend to choose math, and it's not because of their abilities. It's often because of the society, the culture, and especially influence from their mother, their teachers. One of the best ways to learn math and other STEM subjects is through Brilliant, which is also the awesome sponsor of today's video. If you have watched my other videos before, you know I always talk about learning, especially when it comes to math. It's so important to do active learning instead of just passively reading textbooks or watching tutorials. We need to practice problems and actively engage with the materials and the concepts. That's why I love Brilliant so much, and I think it's so unique and helpful. Brilliant is a learning app with inter. Interactive lessons, so you get to learn by playing with the concepts and learning through hands-on problem solving. I can tell for the same topic, for example, calculus. The way Brilliant present it and teach it, it's very intuitive and just very clear. I'm just genuinely very impressed with its content, and I think it's gonna be so helpful for you to learn math in a way that's super fun and engaging. Brilliant has thousands of visual interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data science, and AI. It also Also, have some very fun and competitive features that get you very motivated and want to come back every day. So it helps you build a consistent learning habit. So if you want to become a better thinker and problem solver, go start learning on Brilliant for free. Scan the QR code on screen or click the link in description. And because you're watching this video, Brilliant is giving you, my awesome viewer, a 20% off an annual premium subscription. And one of the most important factor influencing math academic outcomes is math anxiety because it can really reduce their performance during tests and before tests and let them lose the interest with math. And studies show that girls report higher math anxiety compared to boys. And again, it's not just students have math anxiety; parents have a math anxiety. You cannot believe how many math teachers before they become a math teacher they experience math anxiety, and obviously this effect is. Is more visible on girls compared to boys. And the bottom line is there is no inherent male advantage in math. Gender is one of the weakest factor to predict a math performance. And most of the gender gap we see in higher education and STEM career related fields comes from social pressures, stereotypes, and culture myths. And the thing is, math-related technical skills are one of the highest-paying skills today, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Jobs related to math, like data science and stats, have a median salary of over a hundred thousand dollars, compared to about is around forty-nine thousand dollars for the average U.S. job. And the national studies shows that women are one point five times more likely than men to leave STEM after just one calculus class. Too often, women turned away. From these opportunities, not because they can't do it, it's because they're convinced that they cannot do it, just because they have been told their whole lives. So, if you're on the fence or you're very discouraged by your math classes, do not step away from the opportunities that you actually like. Because as a woman in math, I would say I got in some really, really wonderful opportunities. So, as a girl, how do you actually get better in math? How do you actually succeed in math or just STEM field in general? Women in STEM have. Have a lot of challenges because not often it's the best environment for female. I think there are more and more women get into STEM. We can see more fields like biology and not as much as in like computer science, which is actually significantly decreasing. Here is just some of my advice. Number one, don't think you're less smart because it's not true. There's a study in chess that I found very very interesting. When women players play against a man, they perform the worst. When they didn't know their opponent is a man, they're Shows no difference between the male and female players. Everything, you know, when it was like fifty-fifty. But once the female players know that their opponents are man players, they performed worse. And that's just because they assumed that they were not good enough. They are intimidated. There's so many times when I don't understand a question when I try to ask one of my classmates, they will make me feel dumb. That was just because they are unkind. It's not because you're not smart enough. If you feel like everyone else is. Smarter than you, 
they're not. They're just pretending. And number two is to find some role models. One of the biggest obstacles for women in STEM is lack of role models, which makes total sense. If you've never seen someone that looks like you have done it, how can you imagine yourself for doing that? And obviously, we always talked about math geniuses are male, you know, but there are incredible women that done significantly contribution in math and STEM fields. And I have listed some on the screen. Read some stories about that. Go watch some movies. Follow women in math and STEM on their social media. See what they're up to. Hopefully that will inspire you. And obviously one of the reasons I started this channel is to hopefully inspire some young girls and young women to enjoy and pursue a career in math and engineering. Number four, shift your mindset. Don't get discouraged by math when it's frustrating because everyone, and I meant everyone, had moments that they really, really hated math because whatever the question, they just cannot understand. And they cannot figure out what's going on. And that's incredibly frustrating. However, I do feel like boys understand this is just part of the process while girls often take that as a sign that they're not good enough or they are not smart enough. You just have to be a little bit more patient, ask people for help. It doesn't mean you're bad at math. It just means you're learning math. Lastly, look for communities, study groups. For me, one of my favorite teachers, she inspired me so much. She told us about her and her daughter's stories all the time about how they pursue their career in math and engineering. You can also tell math can be just another hobby. You know, you can like math and like a bunch of other things. It is definitely not true. The math stereotype only like tied to geeky, nerdy guys that don't have anything else in their lives. I, I definitely experienced this is when I mentioned that I like math. People found that's really odd that I am a girl and I like math and I don't fill into the stereotypes. So if you found that this video interesting or helpful, please like and subscribe and maybe turn on the notification button. And comment, did you ever feel the math gender myth in your own school or career experience? I'd love to hear your story and I'd love to build this community that we can support each other. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.